In this video, I will share the best Jira alternatives with you. So whether you think Jira is too hard to use, whether you think it has too many features that you don't want, or you are just looking for a similar tool because you don't really like Jira's interface, in this video, I will share alternatives to all three of those problems in this video. So the first one, if you're just looking for something similar to Jira and you don't want to use Jira for some reason, but you want to find something similar, then that's going to be Azure DevOps. This is the most similar tool to Jira and in terms of pricing you can see their pricing right here so you have individual services and user licenses and it kind of depends on how many users you have but you can just check it out right here now the pricing is a bit more complicated compared to Jira but the software itself is very similar to Jira now, if you're looking for a simple product management tool and product development tool, then that is going to be Linear. Linear is quite new, but it is very good in my opinion. So if you're currently using Jira or you have used it and you were using it for software slash product development, but it comes with so many other features that you don't want and that just complicates the process and you're looking for a simple product development tool, then I recommend checking out Linear. Linear is really good for that. You can work with different teams on the products and you will see right here what it does. So you can plan, build, you have insights, dev asks, so you can turn requests in Slack into actionable issues. They will help you secure your workspace and they have a bunch of different integrations and you can build your own integrations. Now in terms of pricing, you also pay per user per month or year and the business plan is $15 per user, the basic is $10, and the free plan is of course free, with unlimited members, two teams, 250 active issues, and unlimited archived and Slack, GitHub, and API access. So it's a very good free plan. Then the enterprise plan gets you some more advanced features. Then finally, we have ClickUp. Now ClickUp also has a product development feature, but it also does a lot more. If you just found Jira a bit too hard to use, but you did like that it has so many different features, then I recommend checking out ClickUp. You can see it has product development as one of their features, but on top of that, it does project management, resource management, you can collaborate with your team, you can set up workflows and they have knowledge management. Now you can see the product development, you have sprints, sprint reports, a Kanban board and roadmap and backlog. So you can plan, build and ship all in one place. So you can see some of the features here. So there is a ClickUp AI that helps you ship software faster. Now you can sprint through epics with agile workflows. You can align everyone with clear roadmaps. You can streamline bug and issue tracking. And it's basically the all-in-one product management solution that helps you plan, prioritize, design, release, and set up reports. So in terms of integrations, ClickUp is also very strong and they have a very good free plan available with also unlimited users. But I recommend the business plan at $19 per user per month if you're looking for the most advanced features, of course, except for the enterprise plan. Now, if you want to get started with ClickUp for free, I'll leave a link to them down in the description. So if you're looking for a tool most similar to Jira that is a little bit difficult to use and perhaps a bit more advanced, and it works very well with GitHub as well, then that is Azure DevOps. Now, if you're looking strictly for a product development tool that is easy to use, then I would recommend checking out Linear. And if you're looking for a more general tool that is also easy to use, then I would check out ClickUp. If this video helped you find a Jira alternative for your business, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.